Top Bin 90 is proud to welcome the Olsinski Law Firm as an official sponsor. With two locations in Charlotte and Concord, the Olsinski Law Firm specializes in personal injuries, criminal defense, DUIs, workers' compensation, and much, much more. With over 12 years practicing law, the Olsinski Law Firm makes it a priority to treat each client with the focus and dedicated representation that they need. For a free consultation in English or in Spanish, give them a call today. Hi, my name is Justin Olsinski, uh, managing partner of the Olsinski Law Firm, inaugural season ticket holder. Just here to let you know that our law firm, the Olsinski Law Firm, has you covered. We cover criminal law, family law, workers' compensation, personal injury. We're here to support you in your time of need. Give us a call. Kalina, uh, zero zero draw today. This is the third draw for Charlotte FC. What do you make of tonight's game? Uh, behind us is a really good game from both sides. I can even say it for DC. Like uh, they prepared a really good game, and it was uh, really tough for us. We didn't expect something like this from them, but uh, we had our chances. Uh, uh, we play good game, zero zero. We go, we go further, and that's it. We need to be positive. Feel like a missed opportunity today. I mean, DC was three points away, two games in hand. Does that does it feel like uh, just a missed opportunity? Yeah, if if we are thinking like this, we can think all all the time. Like last three games, uh, we missed something. We had two times lead in 90 minutes, but uh, we need to keep forward. I think we play good football. That uh, uh, we are con concrete with uh, with uh, with uh, concrete with uh, everybody, uh, every team. And uh, we just need to keep going and the wins will come and then we will keep going that uh, we, we win in the row. And how important has, uh, was keeping a clean sheet tonight for you in that back line? Yeah, every, every game is important if, if we can keep this clean sheet because uh, it gives us uh, some uh, uh, confidence normally. And uh, in front of us is, uh, uh, are really, really tough games like uh, with Fila and with uh, Cincy away. And uh, it was important to today to, to keep clean sheet and uh, to be posed in even uh, in this way. And really aggressively today, is that something you wanted to do? Yeah, like uh, uh, it's not easy. Like I need to play so high and uh, run a lot with the team, and uh, the balls is uh, all the time with in my feet and. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. I need to be really concentrated and uh, just keep going. I think I had uh, good games behind me all the time and uh, just keep going, help the team how much I can. And uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, more maybe from some different parts because, uh, okay, I just had maybe one. One big save and everything was uh, everything else was uh, uh, normal saves, but uh, from part of the playing uh, with the feet and the reading the game and uh, be high uh, over the 16 meters, this is maybe more. And to go on the crosses, uh, read the game, this is maybe in which which point he said like that, that is the best game for me. Kerwin, tercera tercer empate consecutivo que dejan perder puntos. ¿Cómo eso le afecta al equipo para su posible clasificación a los playoffs? No, bueno, creo que nos sentimos frustrados, ¿no? Pero no conseguimos la victoria, pero bueno, seguimos trabajando, seguimos dando lo mejor. Esperemos el, el próximo juego aquí, romper y sacar los tres puntos. Se siente como una oportunidad perdida hoy. Eh, DC United estaba a tres puntos de ustedes, tienen dos partidos y no pudieron concretar hoy y ganar. Sí, sí, creo, como te digo, estamos un poco frustrados, ¿no? Tuvimos muchas opciones, no las concretamos, pero bueno, queda ese, ese agridulce siempre. Aquí en casa no hemos, no hemos conseguido eso, darles alegría a los fans, ¿no? Pero bueno, seguimos trabajando y sé que con el trabajo, esos partidos que vienen, vamos, vamos a dar lo mejor y, y vamos a darle alegría que se merecen y vamos a los playoffs. ¿Y qué, qué tipo de conversaciones has tenido con Latancio? Se ve que no has jugado mucho o te está usando más como sustituto que titular. No, bueno, es, es decisión del, del míster, ¿no? Los 11 que pone siempre ahí son los 11 que, que él decide que son lo, los ideales para ese juego. Eh, tengo conversaciones con él, me dice que, que tranquilo, yo soy tranquilo, 
los minutos que me meta, siempre voy a dar lo mejor de mí y bueno, lo que trato de hacer cada, cada vez que entro al juego. Sí, sí, como te digo, pues no creamos, creamos muchas opciones, no las concretamos, pues no, no somos perfectos, ¿sabes? La queremos meter siempre, pero bueno, no lo hacemos, pero estamos trabajando siempre para pa darle los tres puntos. Siempre trabajamos para eso. Uh, Yere, a, a draw at home tonight. Uh, your thoughts on the game? Obviously disappointed we didn't win, uh, but, you know, continuing the streak of not losing is also something positive, but, yeah, not that happy because I know we deserve more. And, I mean, you guys kept a clean sheet. How important is that, I guess, from a backline perspective? It's always a nice nice thing to have, you know, as a defender, you never want to concede. And if, if you concede as a team, you feel really bad about it. So something we can build on, obviously. I think it's been uh, it's been a lot better. We are still learning. We're still improving. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of positives also to take with us. Uh, and now we have a few days to work on work on the things uh, the things that we, we want. So, so Wednesday we get the three points. Does it feel like a missed opportunity tonight? I mean, DC's three points away from you guys. You have two games in hand, and you're in a you aren't able to be at home and take three points. Obviously, like I said, you know, in the beginning already that it, it, it feels like a little disappointment not to get the win because especially when you play home, you always want to win. Uh, but, yeah, it's football. You know, you win some, you lose some, you, you draw some. But the most important thing is, to learn and uh, and to make sure that we are even better on, on the next game on Wednesday. For you personally, what do you make so far of your time at Charlotte playing here at the bank as well? Oh, I've been loving it. I've been loving it. Obviously, there's uh, there's a lot of things to improve, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy here. And you know, I play I play with a happy mind. And uh, yeah, when when you feel good, you know, especially here. You, don't feel the tiredness in your legs, you know, you can just keep pushing and the support we, we get here, it's just, it's fantastic, you know, so it, it brings, really brings a smile on my lips to play here. This is your first full 90 minutes here, right, for Charlotte? Yeah. What was that like, what was that just to get in the game all the way through, feel that your teammates, you know, get in the, the real rhythm? Yeah, it was really nice, really nice to play full 90, you know, I think the last time I played a 90 was probably May. So, uh, so obviously it's, it's, it feels nice, but physical standpoint, I feel really good. You know, no no problems there, and uh, also really happy that I that I that I've you know recovered from the from the trip to Europe this quick, and I didn't feel that feel that in my legs at all. So, yeah, from that point on, you know, it's, it was nice. And you played really high. I mean, you ready for that? You like to see some, some action up there? Yeah, I mean, I'm still adjusting. In the it's obviously a new system for me, so so I'm trying to obviously provide options for my teammates that they could find me make the runs to free up some of the other guys but you know like I said there's a lot of room for improvement in my opinion uh, but it comes with training you know you just you just have to work every day and and make sure that the mistakes you do you learn from them and then then you get better Is there something that happened out there today no it's nothing, nothing. I told the doctor not to wrap it so it just looks bad <laughs> So you got a, you got a, another match coming up on Wednesday, a short week. What do you all need to do to make something happen for this next one? Obviously score as, as a team, you know. Uh, sorry, sorry uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it in any bad way. Uh, obviously score because 0-0 uh, zero, zero you get one point, but at home we want all three. I mean, Philly is a good team, uh, so it's not going to be easy, but... We have a really good base now. I think the last games, starting from the League's Cup already, we, we've really grown as a team. And uh, and uh, we are really, you know, playing as one unit there. So now it's just uh, time to kind of like get the reward also for, for ourselves because we know how hard we work every day in training, you know, with the, with the staff there. And uh, we really want to improve. And I think there's big parts of the game where you can see it outside already. You can kind of see the reward coming. But now we just have to convert that into goals and into points. Do you like playing games uh, um, is just close together? Like, is that more helpful for you and the team gelling together and maybe getting some more momentum? Or do you like longer breaks? Personally, I love to play. You know, we love football. I love football. There's not no better feeling than to play, especially here at home. And uh, when you play a lot, you know, you can skip some trainings, which is, which is always you know, a nice thing as well, because you rather run on the f on the football pitch and, and, and do the thing you love. So, you know, I love to play. Yeah.
you know, if, if we could play two games every week, I would I would love that. Um, frustrating night tonight, given what the team needs to achieve going forward? Yeah, <laughs> it's another one that uh, I believe uh, might be wrong because obviously I'm the coach of our team. But I believe that we were the better side in the first half and in the second half. So in that sense, it's disappointed because we have many chances to create uh, more and better quality chances to score goals, which we don't. And uh, in the end, uh, the game stays in balance. And when you play against uh, good players, you always uh, you know, are in danger of conceding one. But all in all, I think that we had more than enough ball possession, more than enough entries in the last third to to deserve a win, but it's the last two games is like that. Is the third in a row where I think we should win, and we get uh, only a point. So yeah, in that sense, it's frustrating night because I think the, uh, our boys deserve more than that. But it's up to us to to take what we deserve. Nobody is gonna give us a gift, uh, and we have to be more uh, focused and to have and. To play better in the last third. And you started uh, Enzo and Carroll together mm -hmm. tonight. What did you think of how they play together and, his, and of Enzo's effort? You know, I think they, they 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 show promising signs to play together. They were looking for each other. Up to obviously in the second half even more. They had this combination around the box. They were working well defensively. And. Uh, and I think that they they can play together. I don't have uh, any doubt that they can play together. Uh, obviously, being uh, two very important players for us, I always would like them to to give us something extra. But uh, but yeah, no, I think effort-wise, I'm happy with both of them. You know, is one of those. If we, if they are selfish, we don't like it. If they are unselfish, we don't like. It. I think. Uh, <laughs> I think the. Mm, no, I think that they are trying to play. They are trying to understand themselves better and better, and so they try to to look for each other. The choices that they make in the last third or around the box, uh, that's up to them. This is uh, I don't want to tell them what they need to do around the box. Uh, also because I'm not sure what kind of situation they're going to find. And they are experienced enough to play uh, in those situations. Sometimes it looks like that, but, that, but I'm happy that they look for each other. Because it means that there is respect. They respect each other, they respect the way they play. Uh, sometimes, uh, today I thought we were a little bit uh, unlucky in some decisive moments when we could have uh, really scored a couple of goals in the first half and we were... It's true that we conceded a couple of uh, dangerous contra-attacks, but uh, listen, it, it, it would be great if you can only create chances and not concede anything. Uh, I think that we managed well those transitions and some of those were created by us to be a little bit untidy in the last third. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with the performance. We just need to be better in the last third. Did Kalina play a little bit more aggressively today? Kalina? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. This is what I like. He's one of the best performances that uh, I've seen Christian since he's here. I like that, he's, that he, he can play higher position, be more aggressive. It's very important for us in that sense, especially when we want to press the position high. His aggressiveness in uh, taking strategic positions is, is important. He looks decisive, he looks, and he looks better and better as the game were, were going on. So I'm happy with his performance, yes. Mm. Are teams defending you differently? Are you seeing different looks that's causing you to have to change tactics and things? 
No, I think uh, there is always... I think that the goal didn't come, not because we didn't have control of the game or we didn't create chances or we were playing very deep. It's, it's the opposite. I think we had a lot of ball, a lot of the ball, a lot of the ball in the right areas. Even today, I think we had, I don't know, a lot more passes in the offensive half than the opposition. And then it's after, is how we make them count. But uh, the opposition defends well, defends deep, and uh, it's up to us to unlock. Uh, I'm sure you saw the game, Nick, and we had many chances to create better quality options, better quality chances that uh, this night we were not able to do. Uh, it's tough because um, performance like this should be rewarded with a, with, a, with a win. Should have been rewarded with a win in Nashville, should have been rewarded with a win against Orlando. And these are all uh, draws that should, uh, should, be, should be win. You got a quick turnaround for a Wednesday match. Yeah. I focus on, first of all, being fresh mentally and then physically because we need to stay ready for tough challenges, tough uh, games that we have ahead and uh, to see how we can improve again because we work a lot on, the, on that, how can we improve you know, the last, the, the missing link which is obviously probably in football, the most difficult one, no? To make assists, to score goals. This is what we need to keep improving. But the most important thing is to stay together. I believe in these guys 100%. I believe in the spirit of the group. They train well. Uh, we had a frank uh, talk after the game. I think that they, they play a football that if I was, again, maybe I can be, oh, I'm sure I'm biased, but uh, I would enjoy to come to see this team playing. I really would because I think whenever we play, we never, we never are subdued against anybody. We give a game to everybody, and uh, the way also we regain the ball, we regain the ball quickly, and then we have it and play. So I am very proud of the way the boys are playing. Okay. Uh, positive in this game was you guys earned a clean sheet. How are you feeling about the clean sheet? It's very important. Uh, I'm smiling, but it's very important, especially the way we want to play. Because it's very easy, and I think it's a good question that, it's very easy to play the way we want to play. We are wasteful in the last third, and then you concede. Uh, I've seen uh, the game just before, Miami-Atlanta, uh, seven goals in this game. But I've seen it also in, in Premier League this morning. I, wo I saw uh, AC Milan into Milan that finished with 5-1. And uh, AC Milan was trying to play when they couldn't in, in transition, you know, you can be punished when you play against good players. And they have very good players here. And uh, it would be easy, it would be easy to lose a game and, and even to lose the belief. But I still believe even if we lose the game that we are playing the right brand of football. We are playing with intention, we are playing with, uh, with bravery, we are courageous. We occupy most likely very often the opposition half. And like you said, if you don't take your chances, then after you can be, you can be punished. We have been punished last minute or even last minute of extra time in Nashville, two minutes to go from set pieces. And when Davis had the, the, the ball at 88, 89 minutes, you still think, Anything can happen because they have big guys and great guys in the air that if uh, the ball is good, but uh, that tells how, that says how uh, our boys uh, also play in transition. I was very proud of how the, the back four plus Christian played, in particular, I think Adil and Andrew. They had two different, different difficult customers in Furjado and uh, Benteke, and I think they managed them really well. Really well, I'm proud, and this is a very young couple of central defenders that they are growing game by game. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, last one. Um, just looking at the table now, are you monitor? Are you looking at like the teams? You know, Montreal and, and DC is specifically ahead of you, as well as like Chicago, as far as like what you need to get to that 
We need to win games, Steve. And uh, I think that we are putting our... I'm putting our emphasis and our energy into the next game, the next game. I think we have... In the last four games, we should have 12 points, in my opinion. We deserve 12 points and we should have... If we had those 12 points, I think... It doesn't matter what Chicago does, it doesn't matter what Montreal does. I think we are... And I like to think that we want to be master of our destiny, not to look at too many calculations. I like to play football uh, from foot. I like to the boys to take the game by the scruff of the neck and to play toe to toe against everybody like they showed. And uh, I want to keep doing that and uh, to get as many points as possible. Then after we will see. Yeah, because you're chasing now. If you're defending, it might be a different scenario. But, but still. Still, because if uh, we were in a better position, I want to get to the people that they are in front of us. I'm not look, I don't want to look behind me. Obviously, now we are forced to do that, but if we were third, I would like to go second. This is the way I like to, us to build as a club.